guys, you're watching Project X with Joel and Rory today. We're going to be continuing our Army of Two, the 40th day campaign. We're going to be leaving the zoo in this chapter, so because it's by to zoo woo. Pop the champagne, because <laughs> woo zoo is being left behind. Yes, he can be left in the zoo. He can be left with all the dead animals. He can have time to think about his bad actions. <laughs> You can, you can, you can get the, the the babies of the animals which are still alive and take them out and show them their dead parents. Uh, I guess, they, I guess you could, <laughs> you know. Yeah, sorry, that was a <laughs> little, little, little I don't, I don't think they would understand. They would just see it. To them, it would be like a massive rock on the floor. <laughs> they won't even understand what it was. It's like, it's just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that that's just like the next level of intelligence when you don't know what a dead body looks like. Okay. <laughs> Where's my mom? Just standing on top of it. Where's my mom? <laughs> it's like Um <laughs> Yeah, about that. <laughs> okay, so the zoo is it's been fucked over, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <coughs> I mean I won't I wouldn't want to be a zookeeper here because it's like I, you, we haven't seen any yet apart from that guy who had monkey shit for a day. <laughs> oh my god. That was a uh, tragic story. <laughs> then he just like, he had a decent gun. I mean he breached the gate and um, there were like five people and we could have taken him out but he just like fucked us over and tried to run away. <laughs> yeah, um, he, he got pissed off. He was like, he was really close <laughs> to the animals and they'd just all been murdered. So he wanted to get his own back, but obviously <laughs> it didn't end out very well for him, <laughs> as you probably saw. Oh, gosh. I think um, I think I think it kind of disturbed him having monkey shit running at him. <laughs> I think that just pissed him off even more. He's got aggravated, so he I like, right the end of the chapter. Right, no more talk about the zoo from this moment. Do you like zoos? <laughs> no, not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. Thanks a lot, Army of Two. Thanks a lot. I don't like zoos anymore. <laughs> Never see Cheshire Zoo in the same way again. <laughs> no. Every time I look at a monkey, I think of that fat guy having shit in front of him. Maybe, um, maybe they could like in a carnival they could make a like a little attraction like that, just like a guy having shit in front of him. So say he's like in some sort of stocks. <laughs> He's in the stocks like the medieval times. He's just having shit thrown at him. <laughs> that, what that sort of fucked up carnival do you go to? One in the <laughs> one in the park, you know. <laughs> oh, civilians! Come on, civilians, we're getting out. <laughs> Fuck it. Why does everything have to die? Why everything has to die? <laughs> it's just like civilians. They it was like a family. They're, they're going home. They, oh they heard good news that um, Woo Zoo might be coming out of the zoo today <laughs> and they just got run over by a fucking APC or something. I don't know what it was. So. <laughs> like a 50 pound APC. Yeah, it just like ran them over. They, they, they almost didn't like stop. Wait, what was it? It's like stop, listen, look, go. They didn't do, they didn't do that. <laughs> It's like they didn't, they didn't cross the road, they just ran out. Their excitement just like got the bear of him. Yeah, that's just. It's, I've nothing more to say about that. This right, let's kill these guys. Okay, um. They. Just civilians, come on. Why would they. They just like run out. They get, either get run over by an APC, they get ho held hostage, <laughs> or they're just generally just running around, <laughs> just like being annoying. So, I'm not, if I was in like this situation in real life, I would be running around in the streets just like aimlessly <laughs> running. I don't even, where are they even going? It's just like, there's collapsing buildings falling around them like in the previous episodes. And they've just <laughs> ran into them. <laughs> this doesn't make sense. And then they're probably trying to like loot the rubble of the building, see if they can find anything of value, you know. Office pens, <laughs> office pens and paper. Wow, I can buy. I can, <laughs> can buy a loaf play. of bread with this. <laughs> they, can, they can play hangman and picture oh, yeah. yeah. Many play. drawing and playing hangman during the apocalypse. <laughs> so, I'll just take them down to the so, zoo. Then they can see what happens when you play hangman in real life, with uh, the punishment being death. You know, it's just. 
like during the apocalypse. What should we do? Should we try to survive? No, let's play a game of Hangman and then see how things turn out. Yeah, that sounds like a fucking great idea. I'm gonna do that. Picture Eager, what is this? <laughs> like, a gravestone. No, there's, yeah! They play like Monopoly and then the ground would shake with the explosions <laughs> and it would knock the pieces over and they would get really pissed off. No, it's like, uh, Picture Eager, what, what, what's this? A tombstone. Yeah! What's this? Oh, it's, a, it's another falling skyscraper. I didn't think I'd see one of those again. Ugh. Okay, so. Just, we're in flats now. I think we gotta disable this comms tower. Okay. I'm coming in. Um, alright, um, fine. It'll teleport me here. Even though I was really close, but you know what? I don't, I don't care. I don't care. <coughs> so, what is through this door? Mm -hmm. More flats? No. I think this probably was a balcony. Now it's clearly right, not. Right, we need to get down there. Alright, okay, so, do we go for that door? I don't I'm know. Not sure. Oh, Ooh. this looks secure. I'm pretty feeling safe about this. Um, your, your character's, like, showing the stability of this. A oh, crap, okay. Shit. Um, alright, you've just fallen. Are you, I don't think your character's okay. Uh, my, Rios is managing to hang on. Don't know how <laughs> he's doing that. His weight will probably bring the rest of it down. That's, it's probably Rios who brought it down, to be honest. Okay, we're just on that operation table. What are you doing here? Oh, yeah. I don't know why you're here because you obviously didn't like break your back because it's 24 hours later. You're just like minor shock or something. Okay, so look at watching TV. Ooh, and ooh, who's this guy? Some sort of doctor. I don't know. I don't. Wait, like, he's I just got listen. blood on his coat. <laughs> I saw a lot of bags of blood in the other room. Bags. Yeah. Oh right. Like not bags, like like bin bags. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, like they like they call them blues. bags in hospitals. What? It's blues. like it's just full of blood. <laughs> Trying to like transplant it. <laughs> like when the patient has a nosebleed and they stick a water balloon in his nose. Oh god! Wait, it wait, wait, wait. He's called Doctor Wu. He just said. Mm, um, <laughs> damn it. He's called Doctor Wu. I thought he would. It's not. It's not Wu Zu, is it? I don't know. I don't. I hope it's not. I really hope. No, it's no, it's not, not Wu Zu because Wu Zu wasn't like bald. Wait, let's go to the psalm he told us about. Ah, oh, Wu has punished your earlier negative behaviour. The door to the weapon locker is locked. Thanks a lot, Wu. <laughs> Doctor Wu. <laughs> oh, you meant you're meant to help people, not not screw them over. Thanks a lot. How right. did he know? Telepathic. <laughs> <laughs> he read our minds. <laughs> Sitting in like a dark storage cupboard. There's like candles all around him like three more civilians have just died. He can detect when someone dies. <laughs> Every he time someone dies he has a minor heart attack. Oh he just gets like a minor electric shock. <laughs> So doing like some sort of massacre, <laughs> he'd just be like electrocuted. It's kind of lucky he lived through like World War Two. Yeah. That's just what I'm thinking. Yeah, hopefully there's. He would have been just completely spazzing out on his bed. <laughs> yeah, that would have that would have been like pretty unpleasant experience. <laughs> he he obviously pulled through. This place this place is a little better than the zoo. No, it's not. It's not. No. Is it this? Oh. Okay. <laughs> She's oh. just like. Walking through the door. <laughs> you know, why was she there? <laughs> she's not even a patient, she's just like dressed in normal clothes. She probably came in for a checkup before the apocalypse, <laughs> then she got stuck inside the hospital. She tried to hide in a generator room. Yeah, and then she just got found. <laughs> the guy was going to shoot her. We saved him a favour. Yeah, we did. And then we yeah. killed him. We saved him some bullets, and then we shot him. And then so, we took his bullets. And then we took his gun. Well, we didn't take his gun, we took his bullets, yeah. So that's the generator on. I don't see why Dr. Wu couldn't have done that himself. If we could have given him, like, a, some sort of pistol, and then he could have come down and cleared them all out. God. Can you imagine him, like, wobbling along? Like well, he might not even need a gun if he's, like, a black belt. He could have just, like, taken them all out with his fists. He like, was telling us earlier that he did karate, but... That wasn't enough to stop them, so... <laughs> heavy, he's just like, against like heavy with miniguns, trying to use karate. <laughs> just like, tries to like block one of the bullets. That's, that's just he goes like straight through his hand. 
he can't even attack them because they're like in heavy armor. Oh god, okay. <laughs> just like whacks one of the helmets and like breaks his hand. Yeah, or he just like tries to like scissor kick someone in the face, like heavy with shotgun, and his foot would just get trapped in the grate of the helmet. <laughs> So he'd be like dangling yeah. from someone's head. Yeah, yeah. And then he'd just shoot him. He'd get like split in half. Sounds uh Sounds pretty skillful to be honest. Or God. if he was professional, he might have like a fist of steel and he could just punch through the armour. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's been tra he's been no. he's been training in the art for like quite a few years now. Like, How do you know? He's been training the art for like a couple of days. It's pretty good. <laughs> Tools of the trade. Yeah. So he'd make a couple of pens out of uh, private bodyguard service. Then he forgot about his regular job. Forgot about <laughs> being a doctor. <laughs> and he got fired from the hospital. And now he's just like invited himself back. <laughs> God. Alright, so. Okay, have I'll you try and look in these rooms. Useless. That? Oh no. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> I dropped my controller. Action stations. Get, um, I dropped my controller. Oh, yeah. Right, it's okay. It's okay. Alright, cool. No, it really <laughs> isn't. Uh, I, mean, uh, I think it's the opposite case. Okay, I'll just go and get some batteries. Oh, uh, so yeah. Batteries, alright. Um, uh, so, we're in the hospital, obviously. Woo Zoo. No, it's not even Woo Zoo, it's just Doctor Zoo. It's not even Doctor Zoo, it's Doctor Woo. Doctor Wu. I mean, really, either they've all like got similar names, or it's just the same guy just like dressing up around <laughs> the city. He's like, he's just like followed us through the city, like hiding behind like dustbins and stuff. And he's just turned up in the hospital like five minutes before we came, dressed himself up. <laughs> all right, I'm back. I'm back. Oh, you, you just came halfway through my little rant about uh, okay. Doctor Wu. Okay. I think I think it's being ended now. That's no, us. <laughs> To be honest, it's a bit of a pointless argument, it's just Doctor Wu. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> what oh. a pot, Ted. Oh, it's just a... yeah, the, I didn't even understand him. Okay. Well, I can hear a kid shouting, he's probably around this corridor. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. I, I haven't heard him yet. I've been too busy listening to gunshots and ex several explosions. Oh, he's trying to play dead. Oh, he kind of fucked up at the part where he rolled onto his back and got his gun out. That's a clear sign that someone's dead. When they are moving around and grabbing guns when they're on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, someone gets shot in battle and they're trying to recover, that means they're dead. Did you know that? No. Well, it's true. It's true. Okay. Definitely true. I, I read it in a book. Okay. I think it was a joke book. <laughs> so, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Is there a kid here? Yeah. Alright, okay. You just kind of interrupted my end. Sorry. See you later, guys. See ya.